Hi guys, this one another one of my unboxing videos. I uh, received this in the mail today. It is 10 wall premium portable um, wireless doorbell. This is stating that you can actually um, operation range is like a thousand feet. Well, I'm not gonna try that out. I haven't got a place big enough yet. But as I say, just go through and see how it goes. As this is the model B15. Alright, so far as you open up the box itself, got actual the doorbell itself, which obviously looking at it, it's gonna be pluggable, so it stays on the batteries. For me, doubtful about me and all the other ones, it's batteries just go too fast. So this one, I would say it's definitely gonna be a win. Trying to get the focus in well. Put the box to one side. Focus in. Comes with a UK um, 240 volt thing, which is good. I'm happy about it. Also it's got some controls at the sides. Um, I will speak about those in a moment. What else is left in this box? Um, you've got instruction manuals. I think I might need them, don't know. See how simple it is. Customer service guide. Hmm. Don't know, hopefully it should be alright. Uh, yes, okay. Can someone help me translate that? Ooh, come on camera. For you guys out there, I'm still using my webcam, as this is just on my spare time. Who knows, maybe go pro YouTuber, maybe not. But so far, anyone? Translate? Translate? Ooh, there we go. Translate, anyone? Oh, wow. See, that's interesting. They actually do a WhatsApp. I think this is the first product I've actually seen that has actually a WhatsApp ID on it. Well, hey, they might actually show you what's going on. Anyway, just playing with you guys. That's a good bit. Yeah, we've got English. <laughs> um, 12 months warranty from the date purchase. Okay, products purchased second on all use. Damaged by chemical fire, radioactive. Hmm? Radioactive? Anyway, these are the same things they cover well. Anyway. Do this. Nah. Push it over. Still got that. Alright, what else is in the box? So about the viewing angles today. Uh, maybe a bit inappropriate. Let's move up a bit. There we go. Got a bit of me. Anyway, let's go back. Got the bell. Oh gosh, there you go. You got a bit of me. Ah! There you go, that. That's cool. Wondering. Hmm. Screwdriver. Anyway, let's do that. Thinking, I've never actually had a product that has a screwdriver in it. Oh, some old Intel things back in the day with computer points, yes, but. And you've got the trusty old M. Not M3. The 3M double coated tissue tape. Right, it's the 94488. Don't know if that makes a difference. Oh, this camera. So, okay, let's take it there. The 9448A. Not quite sure why. But maybe it is the double coated. Maybe we've had eight. It's not. Who knows? Anyway, besides that, that's nothing else in the book. Totally empty. Go through. Doorbell, the base state doorbell has a. Um, a flashing LED on it. I'm going to check that out, find out, see what's going on. Also, going back to the original bell, or I call it the bell, the plug in, whichever, you've got some um, lights in. I think it's blue lights here, looking like some um, possibly light um, LEDs or something here. Yeah. Don't know, maybe that shows when something's doorbell, I'm not quite sure. We've got uh, possibly a volume control section here, then you've got the buttons here, arrow buttons, who knows. On here, nothing much. Um, looking on here, screwdriver. Still trying to work out what this. Ah, oh, screwdrivers for down here. So, it's a, the time I'm doing is kind of like woke up after doing a full, full crazy hours yesterday. So, um, go through trying to work out what's going on. All right, cool. At the side, if you don't notice, let's close it back again. Okay, if I can zoom in, you've got a little groove area right here. 
So um, I guess that's where you put a screwdriver in. But I'm still impressed with actually they put the screwdriver actually in. Because there are places you don't. I bought doorbells in the past. Um, they never had it, so good on them. Right, so that is actually what's inside the circuitry. Nothing special looking about it. Also, I do looking at it so far. Um, I think it's all pushed down into plastic casing. I guess maybe for waterproof. Because yeah, it's going to be outside, um, so I'm quiet, I don't know. But it's got a um, 2, well, I was about to say 2.3, it's not even a 2.3, it's a 23 amp, 12A Alkali battery. Guys, sorry for my nails, sorry. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's got a 23 amp, 12V um, battery, obviously it goes through. Um, I don't know. I haven't gone through the manuals, um, how long do they expect these batteries to last? I don't think I've ever seen a rechargeable version of this side. If you guys know of any rechargeable ones, or if this battery lasts over a year or two, then we don't really need, but it's good to know if it does. Obviously, the little virgin seal that was there, um, that popped out. Um, if we look closer down there, must really screw up the pointing out. There is actually a little um light bulb there. I guess when I did press earlier I took a white oh there you go, it flashes. Take if I take that out for temporary. Light flashes. So I guess that shows through this element here, this blue shoe. That um that is worth it. Oh yeah there you go. So I guess whoever's outside my front door will actually um, see that the bell, obviously the bell's working. Also you can tell if your battery's working. Um, if light doesn't come on then two things, your battery's working or the battery's not working or something else. So okay, so I'm waffling too much, guys. Please bear with me. Oopsie. If I'm waffling too much, guys, I'm sorry. I uh, say, so really, I'm trying my best. Anything that I do get with a post or anything, I do try my best. But, right. Last person said to me, like, you really don't go through the seals. I'm sorry. Most chances when I do get things in the post, I don't always know when it is. So, I uh, say, so, there was a box came through with other boxes, which other items I purchased, and I wasn't quite sure. Opened it up, and like, oh, this is this one because it doesn't seem like it's a brown packaging, white envelope packaging, never knew. So it goes through, so that's it. Without okay, the spence. Also, a bit tight. Oh, wow, it is a bit tight. Okay. Oh shoot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. ah, there you go. Divergenize. Right, so anyway, that's the bell. As I said already, looking for the cat. Let's go for it. I might be repeating myself. Oh yay! Yeah, at least you've seen the doorbell. That's the bell. Now, what I'm gonna try and do is try and find something to plug it on. All my units so far have been um got no main extension. That's embarrassing. Should have done that earlier. Anyway, give me a couple moments. I'll leave this plane. See what's behind my background. Might look crappy, might look messy. It is what it is. Right guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I couldn't find the pause button, so I'm going to try to see if I can blend these together. So far, I've put through the, um, the bell into um, into the wall socket, as you can see right now, trying to get the focus back in the zone. Go through. So, as going back, there's a recap that I did earlier. It was basically this is the main bell with the two, you look down there, got one LED there. Uh, and one LED there. Uh, 
LED lights on the side and also I showed you the volume control back and forth and also the AC plug so that's the speaker box itself speaker, bell, speaker box bell here's what it is so first when you switch it on see the LEDs all flash and everything I believe that is the point where it gets into pairing mode I'm not too sure because uh, it shouldn't be in pairing mode so I'm going to have to quickly go through so guys I should have um, prepared myself a little bit better just to go through so as I say you've got plugged into the wall, you've got the bell you've got the speaker, you've got the receiver all in one fit into there and this you've got the transmitter the actual transmitter to put through compared to size wise here on top it's actually a neat package to be honest with you looking carefully about it, it's actually a neat package I was surprised when it actually bought through because I was surprised when I looked online I did check the measurements but it just showed what it's doing so to set the pairing mode you put the speaker point mode which if I'm correct, I'm going to have to try and move this little webcam. Remember, I'm still using the Logitech 9, um, 9000, Logitech Cam, Quick Cam Pro 9000. So, that is actually what I'm using right now. So, let's see if I can zoom it around. There we go. See if it will help me. And it should be that button here, which I'm going to press. Okay. I don't know what happened. Let's try again. Okay, it just keeps bleeping, so let's see if that is. I'm not too sure, as I'm still trying to work this out as I go along. For most of my videos, I'm doing it as I go with the flow. clicked onto the main button. So basically it says set the receiver in the PMI by pressing the volume button until it starts flashing and then pay to transmit by pressing the button on the quickly. So let's try again. So I'm gonna hold it. Okay, now I've actually lost. Okay, this didn't happen. That's yeah, nothing, that's it. So let's see what happens here. So when I press the button, it goes through. So it is paired, so it must have been auto paired from the manufacturer, I'm not too sure. Yeah, looking at the side, you've got the. Uh, I can zoom in closely. you got the ups and down buttons. So, obviously, this one here is. You can change the tune. It basically states that you have like 55 different tunes on it. I'll find one that I'd like. Please keep as that. And go through. Now, I'm trying to try to find that volume because earlier it was loud and all of a sudden it stopped being loud. for the 10 wheel. I will try my best to, um, if I have any future problems, I will get back to you on it. But so far, I'm impressed with the box. It's kind of small. Um, I do recommend that if you are going to install this type of product, um, I do recommend you put it on a double socket because as you can see now, this takes up one space. Also, at the same time, as you can notice there with my unplug, 
I was lucky, obviously, that I can do my switches on and off from here. It's a bit hard trying to put it on itself, but here's what it is. Um, it would be nice to make it smaller, but in my eyes, how small can you really make the receiver all about with all that circuitry? Could be me being pretty bows about to the whole point of being petty. But as I say, I do like the gadget. Looks good, works well. Um, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to actually leave the room. I'm going to maybe say maybe about two meters away and see how it works. second one was when I was actually um, in the hallway and the third one was actually that side front door so that's not bad yeah I'm going to actually try doing that that may be a bit too far tempting to go but so far I've gone through the thousand feet range can't guarantee because I don't have a space that wise but they say open side it could work out doesn't take too much so you can leave it in. Also, just to let you know that um, the transmitter, the doorbell, is actually waterproof. I've had ones in the past where you had to put it on the outside but maybe put that under a little shelter point so the water didn't actually um, go into it. Hence the reason why I've also changed it. My previous one, well, um, state the name, Fireman, uh, Fireman's doorbell. I won't say who it is anyway, but um, it fell miserably. Even when I went back in there, it was like all corroded parts in there. And I'm thinking like, how can you build a lighter without testing it? So this is an IP55 branded, that's what they say. Um, nah, I'd like to picture dropping some water to see if it works, but nah, ain't gonna try that. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Um, subscribe if you want to. Thumbs up if you like it. Uh, put some comments on anything regarding it. And I will see you guys on the next unboxing.